This is Axel 72 in association with Square Circle Boxing. Pleasure to be today to be joined by Tori Ellis Willis. Tori, how are we? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me on. It's an absolute pleasure, and of course we're here for the weigh-in for the Magnificent Seven card. It's a great card. What do you make of the card? I'm looking forward to it. There's some 50-50 fights. I think it's really good as well for being in Birmingham, so it's going to be a great card and a great atmosphere. Indeed it is, and you know, for yourself, you're progressing very nicely so far as a fighter, and of course coming with that GB pedigree, and coming into the pros, do you feel like you've settled into the pros quite nicely now? Yeah, I mean, I've had three fights, uh, three wins, one stoppage, you know, um, already ranked in Great Britain as well, ready now to take it, take it on to the next stage this year, hopefully fight for titles and push on um, and make a bit of a statement, yeah. Of course, and you know, did you feel like, I suppose, going into the pros, there maybe was a little bit of added pressure with that, you know, GB pedigree, and do you feel like you've dealt with that quite well? Um, yeah, I think I think there is a bit. Of, there always is added pressure with the background of being from Great Britain, um, like the boxing team. But I think the levels from what I fought, I fought within Great Britain internationally, it doesn't compare to this sort of level run pro scene. So I think um, I've quite comfortably taken taken it on in, in a stride. So yeah. It's good to hear and uh, you know I suppose stylistic wise you always talk about the differences between amateur and pro styles but do you feel like you're forming a bit more of a pro style now? Uh, yeah I think I think this suited me a lot more um, as I mean the two minutes I'm, I've always got a fast pace anyway so that's that's fine uh, but yeah I think it definitely suits me mixing up my shots and getting a uh, better like a bit more power into the shots and stuff like that so yeah definitely. And are you happy with the activity that you've had so far in the pro game? Um, the first year has been a good year. I think the, I think this, this start of this year has been a little bit slow, um, but hopefully, as soon as like I get a fight date, come anytime soon now. Um, hopefully, like May time, then I'll be back in action. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting out again now. And I suppose you know, going from that possible May time fight, you're going to be wanting to keep still as active as possible, still on the earlier side of your career. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just looking. I've had a, I had a, I had a back-to-back -back fight camps all last year, so it was quite a heavy, heavy duty. I had four, four fight camps. One fell through, um, but I still trained just as hard. So it was, it's been nice to have a little bit of a downtime uh, later on last year, and then just getting picking things back up now, improving, sparring, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting out now, um, fight, fighting anytime soon. And I suppose it's important to make sure you know you don't get burnt out when you're going in between fight camp to fight camp. Yeah, definitely. I think towards the end of the year I started feeling a little bit, so um, it was nice to have that little bit of a break. And like now I've I've been gradually increasing my training um, and just waiting patiently for a fight date and and then get myself back out there. And you know when you're here for the weigh-in, I don't know if you're, you're going to be there tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to be there. Yeah, I mean Sol was supposed to be fighting on the card. Um, He's, he's one of my friends from the gym and uh, obviously from GB as well. So, uh, but I'll still be there. The sort of fighters that I'm supporting, like Denon Takan, look, really looking forward to that fight. And Liam Davis as well, he's a great fighter. Indeed, like I mentioned, amazing card. And I suppose when you are seeing these kind of build ups, these fight week build ups, so is this getting exciting for you to be on this type of a show? Yeah, I mean, that's why I came here today, just to soak up the atmosphere and see what it's about with uh, on these big stages. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And what's it been like with, with, with Sol? How much support has he given you going into the pros? Uh, well, we've, I think without him on my debut, I'd, I'd have been a nervous wreck. So um, he, came, he, he brings the calm to the, to the storm. So, yeah, it's really good to have him there as well. How do you, you know, now kind of deal with nerves and things like that? I think just, just getting used to the same sort of routine that you have every fight, pre-fight, um, it, it helps you ease your confidence and, and you just take the, take the nerves as it comes. And what would you say currently is your, your main type of motivation for boxing? I think to just make a legacy and uh, show women boxing um, the class and get, get titles. That's what I want to get. I, I want to make titles. So that's it. And then I'll be happy to hang up the gloves. And, you know, with the women's divisions at the moment, a couple of fights and you're kind of in title contention. And I suppose maybe by the end of this year, going into early next year, is that what you're kind of looking towards? Yeah, 100%. I mean, as long as nobody avoids me, um, which probably will happen because people don't want hard fights, um, then other than that, I'm, I'm ready to fight anyone. Like, I want to make a statement. I want to make my name, get my name out there. Like, I know the levels of boxing, um, and, I, and I'm confident in my ability, and I feel like I'm up there with, that, with the top top fighters. So um, later on this year, I want to be fighting for titles, taking on those girls, really. Amazing to hear, and you know, I suppose stylistic-wise, when you were coming up, maybe for inspiration to an extent, is there any fighters, women's fighters, that you've looked at? 
Um, well, Chantelle Cameron, she did kickboxing when I did kickboxing, and she transferred over to boxing. Um, so I've kind of followed her route. She's she's relentless like me, so I, I think she's she's a quality operator. So yeah, definitely Chantelle. And what do you what do you make of the possible trilogy to be made between them two, her and Katie Taylor? Do you feel like it's going to be made, and do you feel like Chantelle can get this one? I think it will be avoided. Personally, uh, I don't think they want the. I don't want to think they want to take that uh, another tough fight like that again. Um, but I can imagine um, it'd be a shame if it doesn't happen because, like, it, it should happen really for women's boxing, boxing, especially two top fighters like that. Um, the last two fights were absolutely amazing to watch, and I think a third one would be. It's, it should definitely be on the cards. And when you speak about women's boxing and the progression it's made, I mean, we've seen that. Uh, Clarissa Shields versus Samantha Marshall card just being an amazing card and both of the uh, Taylor Cameron cards being amazing cards as well and do you feel like there's just going to be a constant development that's just going in the right direction at the moment? Yeah I mean 100% you've got um, Lauren Price fighting Maca uh, Jessica next and that's going to be a quality fight as well I mean I feel, I feel that Lauren picks her off all day every day but it like it's two top fighters and Terry Harper and uh, Sandy Ryan that's going to be an awesome fight as well with those two. So it's good to see that top fighters are tight in top fighters instead of avoiding each other that you get off, often also do get in the, within the game. Was it a little bit, I suppose, annoying to see that McCaskill's not gone and got the rematch with Sandy Ryan? Yeah, I think she knows that she's not going to win the fight. That's why um, she knew that Sandy won the fight and she doesn't want to take it again. I mean, Sandy's quality, quality skillfully and inside, outside the ring, she's a top girl. So uh, they're just avoiding that fight completely. But one final question, which I'm trying to ask everybody today about, you know, yourself as a fighter. Of course, winning is an amazing part of boxing. It's probably everybody's favourite part. Other than that, what would you say is your, your favourite part of the sport? Um, I think it just keeps me keeps my mindset uh, on the straight and narrow. You know, it's good good to have a healthy mind, healthy body, and just I just enjoy I just enjoy boxing generally. So I think without it, I'd be a bit lost. Of course. Well, T Tori, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you.